What's up everybody, Shane here from Figurdeck 3D Printing. Today I'm going to install the Morbius M4 extruder on my Voron Legacy. Welcome back. So today is part five of my Varn Legacy build and today we're working specifically on the extruder. And again, this is the M4, the Morbius M4 extruder by the Varn Group. It's very cool. I've never used anything really like this. It uses this giant gear on here for the gear ratio. It's very different than anything I've used. So uh, it'll be a fun build. Now, the nice thing about this, it is 100% documented. There is an, a guide I'm gonna be following to make things so easy and you guys can do the same thing, but I'm still gonna walk through it step by step, just like I've done for everything else on this printer so that you can follow along with me and be able to build it. So let's head over to the workbench. I'll show you what you need and we'll get started. Okay, so I have all of my parts here. I'm gonna go through them real quick, just kind of explain everything, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start the build. Uh, I'll firstly say that I am using uh, my tablet here. I'm gonna use the Voron guide for the M4 because it's the best thing, and I'll kind of walk you through on how I'm building it. But I have all of my 3D printed parts, and I already have my heat sets into all of them, so that part is done. We have the belt, some flange bearings, some of the uh, pulleys, but for these ones on the one, so on one of them, you have to remove the top. Now in the kit that I got, they already took the top off, but you can use like a can opener and pop it open to be able to do that. Uh, then we have the push fitting parts. I'm using a 22 millimeter motor. If you want to do a flush mount, it calls for a 20 mil. I don't have that. So we're going to give this a shot. If this doesn't work, I'll bump it up to a 40 or 42 millimeter if this is not giving me the power that I need um, because I have not used this and I don't know how long, but it was in my stuff. Uh, again, some other of the 3D printed parts so where the idlers are gonna go uh, for our pulley. Uh, this is for the big, it's almost like a Wade's gear type extruder. So it's got this great big uh, tooth gear that you have to 3D print. And this is where that one uh, pulley goes that has the top removed of it. We're actually gonna go ahead and push that right down into there. Uh, and then I also bought the kit because one of the more difficult parts of this build is the shaft. You have to have a five mil shaft, but you have to have it flattened on a few of the sides. So as you can see here, you can see where there's flattened there and it's flattened right down there. So that is why I got the kit. I figured it would make things easier. As I mentioned before, first thing first, we need to get this pulley and we need to put it into this guy. And I don't know how well this is gonna fit. Oh, it's a tight fit. Getting that out would be uh, rather difficult in my opinion. And we're gonna go ahead and use uh, eight M3 button heads, which come with the kit. So it makes it really easy. And these actually go in between the teeth to really make sure that stays. And that takes too long to do. So we're gonna hit the Easy button on this one. Okay, those are in now, easy enough. All right, next up, we're going to prep the shaft here. So it tells us to get this. We need to get our drive gear put on. So this is the one that has the um, hex in there. And then we need to get our really small guy. Did they give me the one that fits that? No, not at all. It's okay. So this just goes on here. And then down a little bit. Now we need our spacer and a bearing. Let me grab, find the spacer. I don't have it here. Because I forgot to print it, so we're just going to move along. So we're going to go ahead and get with the idler here. So the idler is the same as BMG. It's got the two little um, like bearings in there. And then we go ahead and put in the shaft and then this goes into our idler housing. If I hold it proper way like this goes in this way oh it's cut out for it easy day <clears throat> that moves without issue 
That's how we want it to be. Excellent. All right, moving on, we've got heat inserts done, but in here we need to put in one of our bearings like this. I need to uh, put a little bit in here. Okay, it's in there and that is square, so that's good. And now I need the doggone thing. Well, we can see how we had to put all of this together. So this guy is here, we have this that slots right in like that. And then we have this that goes on. So I still need to push in that other bearing there, which is okay. That can wait. That's not in all the way. It needs to go in more than that. There we go. It has to be totally flush in there. Just to fit now. And once you screw it together, the rest of it will hold then. But okay. So what size? Well, let me get that shaft. We'll put that in, and then we can continue on. All right. Now with the shaft in there, you have to line up. But you see the groove there to where the filament's gonna come through and mine is absolutely spot on. I might shift it a little bit later if I need to, which is easy enough to do by just grabbing that, using an Allen head in that little grub screw and then adjusting it. So now that we have all of that done, we now insert this little piece here. It goes all the way down and in there like that. Okay. And then we have this retention piece thing that goes up here. I think it's time for some big old screws. Nope, we gotta put in the idler holder in the front. Now we can do the screws. And these are M3 by 30 socket head screws. And those are not in the kit. So let me go grab those real quick. All right, we got the proper bolts now. Now we can try to get this guy together. We'll start off down here, passing this through everything. Not lining up. Actually, this one doesn't even line up. Let me uh, play with this for a minute. I think I may need to shave that down just a smidge there. Okay, so that moves the way it should. Those mesh the way they should, outstanding. All right, where are we at next here? All right, so we've got to get our spring and our BMG uh, big old thumb screw. Just goes right in here. A little bit of tension on there, not too much. We have the Bowden Collet, which is supposed to basically just pop down in there. There we go. Make sure this still moves. Yep. Just a smidge less there. Okay. Um, so we've got that guy in there. We just have to put this blue piece in here. Maybe not. It's supposed to go in there. I'll figure that out later. I don't know why that won't go on. That's not important. No, this guy's important. So, put this on. Okay. 
3D printed parts a little tight. Just a little bit. Why don't you want to go on more? There it goes. Come on. There we go. And let's just take it out just a little bit to give us a little bit of space in there. Okay, now we can tighten these back down. That ain't going nowhere. Okay. Now we got our motor. So again, we're using this little 22 millimeter motor. And we're just going to temporarily lock this on. Because what we're going to do now is, since this is going to get installed uh, this way, I'm going to do this so my, my cable is coming out the bottom. So for this top hole, it's just an M3 by 12. There we go. Let's loosen up a smidge to get that able to move. And then these are M3 by 16s with a washer on them. These are this way so that you can adjust the tension of the belt. We'll put them on too tight. We lose. Yep, yep, yep. And now we'll put on our belt. So oh, I put them too tight. These don't move. We'll move that all the way in. We'll put our belt on now. Here we go like that. And. The goal here is to try and align this as best as possible. Checking the alignment by looking down that. Where am I going? Where am I going? So we're going to make sure that is nice and lined up, which could go maybe a smidge higher. And there we go. Now we're pretty true down the center of this guy. It looks pretty good to me. So now we'll make sure these are tight. And then, all right, so a little bit of tension on there. And there they are. As I say, that ain't going nowhere. And it looks like that is it. So that is the Boron M4 extruder. So again, on my printer, it's going to get installed here on the side, on the back side. So this motor is going to be out the back. Um, last thing I need to do is I really just need to uh, figure out how to get that coupling in there, and then we'll get this installed on the printer. So I'll see you guys back in just a minute. All right, well, that's it. We've got the extruder installed. I went ahead and put in some of the uh, cable management clips in here as well. So just a piece, a little um, zip tie is going to go through there to be able to hold down all my cabling. And yeah, so this is really coming together. I'm almost done with the build. So yes, I am just super excited to really get this thing done and printing with it. So there's not much left to do. Now, the next part we're gonna have is gonna be part six, and that's gonna be installing the electronics enclosure here in the back and doing most all of the wiring. I hope to get everything wired and powered in that video. And then the follow on part seven will probably be calibration and like first print, things like that. So I think it's been a great adventure so far. I hope these videos have been super helpful to you. If they have, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe. And if you wanna leave a comment down below what you've liked most, what you'd like me to improve on these type of kind of how-to videos for building these 3D printers, I'd love to hear from you. So please go ahead and leave those comments down below. If you guys wanna support the channel, there's lots of ways to do that down below. There's Patreon, buy me a coffee, lots of fill links. There's lots of coupons down there as well. So whatever you buy, you get a little bit off and a little bit of what you buy comes back to me. And that really helps me build things like this printer, the V0 that's coming up soon and lots of other things. So thank you so much for watching. Y'all are awesome. I'll see you next time and happy printing.